What is diverticular disease? What causes it and where does it tend to occur? Diverticular disease is associated with a low fibre diet. The resulting high intraluminal pressure causes mucosa to herniate through the bowel wall. The mucosa bulges into the serosa at the point of entry of vessels and diverticular disease commonly occurs in the sigmoid colon. Here we can see multiple orifices of diverticuli where the colonic mucosa starts to bulge into the bowel wall. What are the complications of diverticular disease? The complications of diverticular disease include infection and inflammation of the diverticuli, obstruction may occur due to thickening of the bowel wall, diverticular disease may present with hemorrhage, pericolic abscess may develop, sometimes diverticuli can cause fistulae into the bladder, vagina or small bowel and peritonitis may occur from rupture of a diverticulum. Here you can see how the mucosa bulges through the bowel wall producing a diverticulum. In this case the diverticulum contains faeces and it is easy to see how an abscess can occur when this becomes infected. You can see how narrow the neck is causing the faeces to become trapped in the diverticulum. This is a diverticulum that has ruptured into the pericolic fat. Eating a high fibre diet is a way of reducing the risk of diverticular disease, but of course this isn't without its side effects.